La di do di da bi da bu ga bo do. Speaking of St. Patrick's Day, you know I met my friend Sean a couple years ago on St. Patrick's Day? Oh, really? No, O'Reilly. <sighs> That's your joke? <laughs> Welcome back to Cheddar Jack. What's going on, guys? It's St. Patrick's Day. And so we are feeling the spirit of Leprechaun and Irish. <laughs> and we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial today for you. And Brian's going to follow along. I'm going to try. Cheers to that. Cheers. Drink. Ah. So I thought it'd be great to teach Brian how to do makeup all while teaching y'all how to do makeup. I don't say y'all. You don't say y'all. I don't you know just why I did. said that. I'm going to try and follow Jack as she's doing her makeup tutorial. I'm going to try and watch her and kind of replicate what she does. I've never done makeup before. I've played around with her stuff when she wasn't around. Uh, well, and because he's not experienced even in the slightest bit, we're going to do a natural look. So we're going to go ahead and take you along our journey. And here we go. Alright. So we both have the same exact skincare on. We're going to have almost the same products. I'm going to give him a little bit of option as far as foundation. He has no idea what any of it is. But I think that's going to be the best part of it. Is he's going to pick and he's just going to see what happened. Hellfire, save the matches, fuck a duck, and see what at you. Alright, so first step is always prime. Do a pump and a half on your fingers. And I'm going to go ahead and... A pump and a half. That's all it takes half. for me, huh? So next step is foundation. And I personally love a light to medium coverage foundation. I think you can do more of your building of your coverage with your with your concealer. I agree. Right. Good. Yeah, so I love something really hydrating, dewy, skin-like foundation. I'm not going to tell him which one I'm using. I'm going to let him pick first. Okay, great option. Great choice. He went with Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It is the number one foundation in the world. And I'm going to go in with my Die Hard Light Wonder from Charlotte Tilbury. You get the dewiest skin-like coverage with this foundation. It's a medium coverage. It's so gorgeous. Your skin literally looks so hydrated and supple. So we're going to put it on the back of our hands. Just do a pump. Do a pump and a half. Do a full pump, yeah, like that. Take, her, take your beauty blender. Mine's a beauty blender, yours is a Morphe sponge. And just dip. And then start in the center of your face always to ensure you get the maximum coverage there. Center of the, well, I mean, that works too. And we're pouncing. And we're pouncing. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is they pounce and trounce and pounce and dance, and I'm the only one. And always with your foundation. Bring it down your neck if it's too dark for you. I don't think I have enough. Get more? Put more on. I'm also going to let Brian choose which concealer he wants to use. And again, I'm not going to tell him which one I'm using. I got a new one today that everyone already has. And I'm so excited to use it. These are your options. Here are his options. He has Tarte Shape Tape. Um, Shape Clot from YSL and the brand new full coverage power fabric Giorgio Armani concealer. And what's that first one again? That's Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte so which shape one are you going to choose? Tarte Shape Tape. What? That's the new one I got today. And you really didn't even know that. We're going to brighten up underneath our eyes and down the center of our face. But we're not going to add too much concealer because I really can't fucking stand this fucking trend of covering your entire fucking face in concealer. Okay? Is so I always, I still do the triangle. Okay. Fill it in a tiny bit. So this is like the number one concealer in the world. It is known for its high coverage, long wear, and it doesn't uh, crease. There you go, babe. Looks like Aboriginal war paint. Do I use my beauty blender? You use your, uh, your Morphe sponge, yes. Shine bright like a nematode. No, it's actually pretty amazing that me and her are actually able to sit down and do a couple's activity with it being St. Patrick's Day and all. It's yeah. so bad. First St. Patrick's Day together, we ended up at a bar with some friends out of town, and um, neither one of us are really sure of the details, brush. but we ended up getting into a fight there. An argument. Yeah, we, literally one of the first fights in our entire relationship. Uh, and she ended up crying the whole night. She pushed me off a chair in a bar. I'm not sure why. I laugh about how St. Patrick's Day was a mess. So before he finishes that story, we have to do the next step. And it's called setting it and forgetting it. But you see where I'm doing it? Right oh, here? Okay. 
And the reason we want to set that is because you don't want your bronzer to get splotchy on top of your liquid because your, pow your bronzer is a powder. So our second St. Patrick's Day together, <laughs> this was the best one. We went out with uh, some friends. I actually have anxiety talking about this. Okay, um, so we went out with uh, one of Jacqueline's friends or coworkers. No, or we went out with our friends and then we met yeah. up with her later. We met up with her friend later. And uh, so Jacqueline tells me early on in the night, I just want to keep it small tonight. I don't want to invite grumpy. a bunch of people. Yeah, she's kind of went out. I went out grumpy and that's just never a good idea. Yeah. And so she told me she wanted to keep it small. Like she didn't want a bunch of people at the house because they're fine. So like we were ignoring friends' phone calls. They are blowing us up. And yeah. We just ignoring them. Like we just wanted to keep it small because we had the party house. So everybody always wants to go to the party. Um, but so we run into a few friends at the bar and at this point Jacqueline has gotten really drunk with her friend right and I'm driving so I didn't get that thanks Aaliyah yeah. I'm totally kidding so I'm not driving, your fault and Jacqueline who's all drunk goes yeah you guys should come all over babe hey, didn't you say you wanted to keep it small and she's like oh I don't care so we get back to the house and they beat us to the house because we stopped at the store and we get to the house after them and she sees them at the house, completely forgets that she invited them and looks at me and goes, I told you I wanted to keep it small tonight. I'm like, you invited them. Then ensues the worst fight of our entire relationship. She tried to kill me. Well, not like physically, but definitely a little bit. I'd say out of the norm for us as far as fights go. I was I was afraid of her. You should use this. This is um, this <laughs> it helps to plump up those skinny razor lips that you have. Um, I just put on my bronzer and I use again another Charlotte product, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze, Film Star Bronze and Glow. Um, never ever ever do what he almost did. Don't ever dip into your bronzer and go straight. Blow on your brush first. And so, see here? Underneath the cheekbone. Where I have that nice pretty scar. Okay, no, underneath the cheekbone. So, here. Uh, okay, where was I? You were on the scar. Oh. Go like this, back and forth. <laughs> it's funny, guys are so stupid. I changed the head gasket in my truck next week and we're gonna videotape that. Nah. Like, what do you mean you don't know what a solenoid is? You're so stupid. It's supposed to burn my lips? Yeah, it's plumping. Okay. This really burns my lips. Is it supposed yeah, to be Yeah, so do bad? your neck also with the bronzer. Why would anybody do that to it their... It makes your lips bigger. What the, what the hell's the point of having bigger so lips? you don't have to buy filler. Because what? filler is expensive. Why do people want bigger lips? I don't Because understand. you have skinny lips. So? I have we a don't want them I've. Oh, I hate you skinny lips. Next is highlight. I like to do two things. If I don't add too much powder, which I did not today, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And this is a really great product if you want something very subtle, natural, glow within, brightening effect. I'm gonna go ahead and do some dots just right up the face because why? Because I wanna lift my face. You do all this every day. So go ahead. Great job. Only do dots. You need a little bit more on that brush. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. And then take your take your blender and then just blend it in. Pounce it. Pounce right? it. Okay. Pounce it. Um, here we go. There's a little bit of like a lilac -y iridescence to it. That's enough blending. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna take a brush like one of these Jaclyn Hill brushes. This one is the JH09. So like this one? That is dirty. But is this the we same put type? that down. Oh. And then again, down the bridge of the nose. Your turn. Do I blow this? No. Nope. Oh. Good job. Yeah. Look at that beautiful glow you've got going on, boy. Next we're gonna go in with a blush. This next one is a Charlotte Tillsbury blush. No, it's got accents and hits of salmon and Alaskan cod in it. Um, it's from France and um, it's rose gold with goose egg. I'm gonna go in with a MAC blush. Blush is next and again very lightly but I like to use something really fluffy. So this one is the, Mor the Morphe M500. A lot of people have this one. Some people like it for powder, some people like it for highlighting. I really love it for blush because it gives me that really nice flush of color without being too pigmented. A lot of people know this one. Come on, focus, motherfucker. 
No? Okay, whatever. And so just back and forth. Doesn't matter if you use too much pressure because it is a, it's a very fluffy brush that's so not gonna pick up too much pigment. And I'm gonna lift my cheek up a little bit like this. I'm gonna look a little weird. Pop up. And I'm gonna go upwards with it. So. You have to lift that cheek, otherwise you're not gonna see where you're putting it, and you're gonna probably end up putting it too low. Your turn. Okay. So, back and forth, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. And then up. You're not lifting your cheek. Lift your cheek, there you go. See the cheek? Apple of the cheek. Apple mm. of the cheek. Straight to that. Should we take a shot? Sure. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody, happy, happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day! Day. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like taking shots. Well, I don't know if that was like a really great decision or a really bad decision, but it was a decision that was made and taken poorly. But we're gonna enjoy it while we can. Brian just threw up. Oh my god, you don't <laughs> tell them that. This is the fun part, where we get to set up all. Just replenish my Morphe setting spray. This seems to be the best one because it gives me a really nice glow. It does help to bind all my makeup together and to just kind of melt it better into my skin than any other one does. Woohoo! Go ahead, after you. Feels really good. Doesn't it? Mm. I'm gonna move on to eyes and brows. This is by Makeup Revolution. It's not my favorite. I've been using the ColourPop and I freaking love it. It's so bomb. It's super skinny, just like the brow is from Anastasia. Really creamy. What do I do? Just put it on there and then use this to. So, babe, watch me. So, I'm gonna. So, you take the spoolie. This is called a spoolie. You brush your hairs upwards. Up, 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 up. And then you just follow the brow shape underneath and you kind of draw and fill in. Okay. Do you do both of them? Yeah. Let me see you. What do you guys think? Go up close. Shut up. <laughs> I don't search the internet a lot, but when I do, I browse. Oh, that was a good one. Um, uh, I don't know if it's like a generational thing or something that's going on with people nowadays but i mean do any of you notice how friends like i don't it's almost like people <clears throat> it's like if it, i see it even with men where like people mistake friendships for relationships I have friends who will like send me a snap or like comment on something and like i don't respond to it or reply to it i'm busy i don't even go on social networking sites a lot uh, but like they get so butthurt like oh you didn't respond to that or hey dude I hit you up on that and I'm like dude if you want to get a hold of me call me or text me and that's it's how like, I feel too like if you want to get a hold of me just like text me don't call me I'm not gonna answer your phone call but text me because like I'm not gonna if, if, I, if you're sending me a snap I'm not gonna think it's like urgent. serious yeah just prime my eyelids you're gonna want to do the same thing because you're gonna go in with eyeshadow next and cool. eye primer keeps your eyeshadow on so I use Mac. I use the Mac Paint Pot in soft ochre. Ochre. Okay. So go in all of your lid underneath your brow. Lift your eyebrow. Hmm. He has really hooded lids. I this is impossible. Whatever. How the hell do I see what I'm doing? You I need more. That's probably good enough. Right, so now that Brian had Brian and I have our eyes catastrophe averted, <laughs> our eyes prepped and ready, we're gonna go in with the eyeshadow. And I have to tell you guys about this eyeshadow palette that I recently discovered because of Laura Lee. Thank you, Laura Lee. I never thought I would ever do this or order from this website, but Fashion Nova. Um, Laura Lee recommended, or she did a video on Fashion Nova makeup or something like that. And I ended up buying a palette because it was only $15. And this palette's called Rude Au Natural. Looks like this. And I'm not fucking kidding you. These She's not kidding you. These eyeshadows are so good. Amazing. They apply really well. And like if they were a college grad who had already had work experience in the field that he was applying into, that would be how well these apply. You, you this is the college that. graduate of applicants for how well this applies. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette, and we are literally gonna use the two colors called, one is called Frappuccino, the other one's called Peanut Butter, and we love peanut butter. Are they all named after food? We love peanut butter. Uh. Whew. I'm gonna go in with Frappuccino first, the yellowy shade. So we're gonna dip our brush in. It's so powdery and has so much kickback, but they're nice. Tap, tap, tap. 
good job and we're gonna just apply it all over the lid so just like this babe watch me all over the lid How and then we're gonna okay look at me you do that buddy. you can't close one eye Okay, if you have to do that, then you have to do that. Uh, I was just saying how, like, there's, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, it, it was never like this. I it, I never noticed it in high school. Maybe I just didn't notice it. But, like, people put too much stock in their friendships. Like, they have too much, like, they get upset if their friends don't respond to them. Like, if you're one of those people who, like, oh, well, this is, like, my best friend and, like, I, I needed them or they weren't there for me or, or some shit or, like, you call them and they're busy and you get butthurt that they're busy all the time all of a sudden. Like, people have problems, I've noticed lately, confusing friendships with relationships. Like, they, it's just so weird to me how people, like, I've heard people complain. I've had people get upset with me like, you know, dude, I try to hang out with you and you're busy or you're always doing something. It's like, yeah, dude, I have a life to live. Or like you only spend time with your girlfriend. Like, bitch, right. we're, in our, we're almost 30 years old. Right. We have relationships. We're sorry She's that you don't. Basically, you guys, I mean, there are people out there. I mean, comment below if you've experienced anything or if you understand. They crave this validation from their friends and peers and stuff. And it's like, dude, these are people like... A, f a good friend is somebody that you don't, if you don't talk to for three months or a year, Definitely it's on. nothing changes. Going with peanut butter, this bottom right corner shade, sorry, I, I, you can't see it. Um, once again, with our same brush, go ahead, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Starting from the lower lip, so starting from your lash line and work it all the way up into the crease. Oh, that makes sense. That's the same thing as when you patch concrete. You have to start from the lower end up because it drips down and you want to work. But yeah, so that's all I'm saying is I don't know what it is. People are, look, I just feel like people put too much stock in their friendships and they, you know what I mean? Like, Especially they, for being as old as we are right now. Right. Like Everyone has their life. We're working. We're trying to survive essentially like none of us have money <laughs> like it's so right. hard to live in california already so like the last thing we need is more stress especially from friendship i had a friend who got mad at me for something and he like and i was like dude i'm just done talking to you for a while though like i'm pissed you don't hit me up it blew my phone up like 43 times in three days and i ended up texting him like yo was i fucking you at some point before you continue i did pick up another brush i'm gonna give you another brush as well actually i'm gonna flip your brush over he has okay. a double-sided brush what a cute little boy we're gonna dip into peanut butter and we're gonna look straight up to the ceiling and we're gonna kind of blow out our lower lash line just a smidge looking up looking up babe good job you can look at that mirror you want to go on your lash line don't go underneath it because it's going to cause dark circles in conclusion with what i was saying your final is like you know it, it's just it's just weird like i don't understand it i think social network has a lot to do with I that see. and making people crave validation from others and like you know what I mean? Like, it's that appearance. Like, before, I mean, some of you may remember before MySpace and Facebook and all that. Like, we didn't, you didn't know what your, if your friend wasn't with you, you didn't know what they were doing. And I feel like a lot of jealousy and territorialness and possessiveness comes from being able to see what your friends are doing when they're I not agree. With you. I actually, that's a good point. We've never talked about that. And I completely right. agree with that. It's because we always know what they're doing and we always know who they're with. And we're like, right. I don't know. It's just, that's a really, really good point. Social media causes way more problems than it fixes. I guarantee that. It connects people. I do give it that. But at the same time, I mean, how many issues have you ever had resolved from social media? Yeah, and that's just one thing is if you're feeling it some type of way, analyze it, think about it, and then, you know, address it with that person. That person. And then also suck your own dick. Yeah. We're moving on to mascara now, and it's Brian's favorite part. Um, so once again, I'm going to give Brian a different mascara, one with a smaller one. I'm going to use it first for my bottom lashes because I'm also going to put on falsies. And I can't wait to show you guys my falsies because these are like my new favorite ones. They're so comfortable and I'll show you in just a second. Damn, I look so banging. I'm on fleek. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and wait. I'm going to go ahead and pass over the torch and I'm going to tell him. With great power. I love you. And I wish you the best of luck at this war that you're about to fight with yourself. Just know, there is a light at the end of this tunnel. Okay? With great power comes great responsibility. Give me a kiss. Here you go. Chill, dude. She almost made me stab my eyeballs. Well, Brian battles this battle with himself, I'm going to put on my lashes. And these are by... These are lashes by Kitsali. Her Instagram is Me, and they look like this. The box looks like this. 
These are in the style pearl. And I've worn these ones. These are already cut and everything. And they look like this. They're real hair. Why I love them so much because they're inexpensive. She is a, um, a small business owner. She has everything from lashes. She has eyeshadows, liquid lipsticks. The formula is gorgeous. I will actually use those in my next video for my next makeup tutorial. But just know, girl, you're doing it right. And I appreciate you so much. Huh? huh? <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> The Irish flag is over the window. Our roommate is at our um. That's our room. Our our window behind the Irish flag right there. He's up there. He's oh he's right here. He's he wants here. to be a part of the video. Let me first. So should we let him? Yeah. And you stupid little bitch. You're lucky. You're in green too. We're all I'm in lucky. green. I'm in green. Yeah, all we didn't three say of us. You're it lucky. matches perfect. He said I'm lucky. I'm in green. I said lucky. You're in green too. Oh. Lucky green. us. This Get is down. Dave. Oh, yeah, you guys scoot down right hi. there. This hi. is hi. our roommate Dave. Cheers, Cheers, mates. Cheers. Oh, you don't yeah, have anything. You don't have anything. Whatever. <laughs> don't fuck up the makeup, bro. It's nice to meet you guys. Um, I really don't hey, like, do you like either of them. Do you like it? He loves it. If you'd like to make out later, yeah. I wouldn't be as bald. Yeah. Yeah. This is Panda. Happy St. Baddies, guys. Happy St. Baddies. <laughs> makeup? I love it. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Brian smeared his mascara. Look at that. Look in the mirror. Yeah, it's okay. No, you gotta fix it. Alright, what's next for me? So I think we're just about done, but we just have to put our lipstick on. Sorry, our, actually, you know what? Our camera died. So we're gonna do the rest off her iPhone. Off my phone, and really, only our our last step is really just lipstick. Let's and do it. we're gonna go ahead. And today I got a brand new lipstick. The one that I've never had before is the Kylie Lip Kit. What do you know? Never heard of it. What? And they come with the, of course, you know, the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips really quick. And Brian's going to watch me do so. And I'm going to kind of over overline the cupid's bow and the bottom center of my of my lip. And then I fill in just a tiny bit in the center. Go, Brian. And I'm going to finish it off with the liquid lipstick. So do you do the plumper early on to give your lips time to plump up? Yep. <laughs> Great job. Thank you. Here's your lipstick. All right. So this is our final outcome. What do you guys think? Did I do a good job teaching Brian how to do makeup for the first time on himself? Or did I just do a complete, did I just create like a complete monster? Would you do me? I'd do me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We had so much fun this time. This was awesome. Um, Definitely one of my most favorite videos that we've done because yeah. uh, we got to do makeup and I fucking love makeup. I got to see what she goes through every day and how much time goes into this and I actually learned something. I won't remember any of it tomorrow. I was, I was just going to say, what'd you learn? I don't remember, but I did learn <laughs> something. I learned that you, uh, peanut butter. Great. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much, guys. We had a blast. And uh, don't forget to come back to Cheddar Jack. See you next time. Bye, guys.